Good evening, guys. It is Corey. Hello. Long time no see, YouTube. Uh, I do have some things to say here at the beginning of this walking video, and so I hope you guys stick around just to hear what I have to say, um, and then we'll get right into it and start walking around. I do apologize for the noise. I am in a game arcade here in Tokyo. Uh, so first off, I want to say thank you, everybody, for all your supports, all the well wishes, all the private messages and stuff I've received from all of you over the last like four months or so, four or five months. And um, thank you so much. You guys have been reaching out because uh, you've seen my posts about like anxiety and uh, insomnia and stuff. So you guys actually reached out and uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, it, it really, uh, it meant a lot to me. On that topic, I, I need to explain like why I haven't uploaded a video to YouTube in so long. And it was mainly because of uh, anxiety and insomnia issues. So I actually had a really bad insomnia for about two and a half months, maybe even three months, um, over the, this past summer. It was, uh, it was terrible. I could, I could barely sleep. Uh, maybe one hour a day, uh, two hours a day at the most, um, for a very long time. So it left me in like a zombie-like state. I just, I couldn't focus, I couldn't function, I couldn't film videos, I couldn't edit anything. Um, it was just a terrible time, but uh, the insomnia is done. It's, it has passed. I'm, I'm back to a normal sleeping schedule and uh, I've started working and stuff. So things are on the up and up. And uh, so I feel like it's a good time to get back to YouTube. So, you know, because of those problems, I decided that I just, I needed a break, you know. I needed a break from social media and from uh, YouTube. But uh, for a few of you, you guys do know that I uh, stream to Twitch kind of often. When I had the insomnia, I wasn't streaming as often, but uh, I, I try to stream, you know, several times a week. So uh, if you guys are interested in watching me stream games and uh, you know, not uh, and not censoring myself, so like for YouTube, I censor myself. Uh, you know, I try not to say f words or any other bad words, but um, sometimes it slips out. But uh, yeah, on Twitch, it's anything goes. Uh, you know, as long as it's not like hateful or disrespectful or sexist or racist or anything like that. So um, if you guys are interested in checking me out on Twitch, here's the link. And um, yeah, so we'll go, we're gonna go ahead and just hop right into this walking video, guys. I am um, very excited to share this area. So uh, we are in Ikebukuro. Ikebukuro in like kind of like northwestern area of Tokyo, northern area of Tokyo. And uh, this is the neighborhood that I work in. And so we're currently in this game arcade. Let's go ahead and start the walk and talk. And uh, I'll just, you know, like I usually do, uh, just talk about everything that I see along the way. This video will probably be about an hour long, if not longer. So uh, just remember that if you guys want to, um, you know, watch the entire thing, but you don't have time, please feel free to pause or stop the video and come back to it later. You know, you can always do that. Um, and of course, with any of my videos, please ask questions or leave comments. I love replying to all of you. And uh, if you really like what you see, uh, definitely give the video a thumbs up. That, that really helps the video to be shared and uh, to gain traction with the algorithms and all that stuff. And, uh, and of course, subscribe to the channel. That like really, really helps me. Oh, uh, so speaking of subscriptions, I do wanna say thank you guys for helping me reach 69,000 subscribers. I never even imagined that would happen one day. And we are very close to 70,000 subscribers. So. Uh, once again, I'm sorry that I've been away for a while, and thank you so much. So let's go ahead and look around this arcade. We are in this uh, kind of older, not, I wouldn't call it retro, but it's kind of an older arcade. There are some retro games, like this one, like Operation Wolf 3, this little old shooter. Um, well, I don't even know what this is, The Typing of the Dead. Yeah, I know there's like a screen banding issue because of uh, how old the games are. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a cool, chill, like, retro arcade. But there are some, like, of these older, like, rhythm games. Guitar Freaks. Yeah. Yeah. And some newer ones. All right, we are now outside of 
the arcade. We are in the streets, the back streets of Ikebukuro. So this neighborhood of Tokyo, um, like quite a few other neighborhoods, there's a lot of nightlife, a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, a whole ton of restaurants here. Uh, I almost said shitload. Oh wait, I did say shitload. Okay, so uh, pachinko parlors, and there's also a lot of adult entertainment. Uh, and by adult entertainment, I mean, um, you know, there's like clubs and bars that are aimed towards men. You know, there's going to be like really pretty girls and stuff that serve you. Um, in this area, there's a lot of love hotels. For example, like this is a love hotel right here. Oops, I just showed people walking out of it. Um, well, at least the girl had a, a mask on her face. But yeah, so uh, there is uh, like, a, like a thriving like sex industry. Like for example, um, down here, I'm just gonna walk down here. Uh, so there's like this place here called Mikado. And there's just like different girls that work here. Um, yeah, so anyways, that is what it is. I'm gonna try not to like get jumped by like the bouncer or something. But uh, yeah, so uh, Ikebukuro is known for that kind of stuff um, in the past, like lots of uh, lots of like seedy things going on. But these days they're trying to break away from that image and make it more family friendly. Um, there are a lot of shopping malls. Uh, what else? Not a lot, but there's a couple shopping malls. There's a lot of shopping in general. There's uh, anime studios. There's, uh, yeah, so uh, parks and schools and stuff. So they're trying to make it more family friendly. And uh, yeah, so this is the area I work in, guys. Uh, oh, check this out. Yeah, this building has a, a giant hand holding a phone. And all the numbers on the side, like where the phone uh, the phone numbers are, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, those are actually, uh, you know, what's on the floor. So, for example, on the second floor, it says printer and ink. So it's like printing materials and ink and stuff. Uh, that's part of Big Kamera, and uh, Big Kamera is a giant like department store filled with electronics and other things like that. And uh, Ikebukuro station uh it's straight ahead it's that big white building right there that's uh well sorry to be specific that big white building is actually the parko department center department mall or whatever you want to call it and it is part of ikebukuro station the station itself is a huge transportation hub there's a ton of different uh railway lines and the shinkansen bullet train line stops here um, a lot of different train lines crisscross and all intersect right here and so a lot of people commute in and around, uh, in and through Ikebukuro Station. And so uh, Ikebukuro Station is about a 40 minute train ride from my house. Yeah, this is a, another big camera. They're selling the iPhone 11 Pro here. Sorry, it's a little busy. It's because it's uh, the end of the day. It's like rush hour, Sunday rush hour, I guess. But we're gonna just keep walking and talking and uh, show you guys the real Japan. Um, yeah, so where we started the video, that's kind of like the more seedy area. A lot of the love hotels and like juicy bars. But uh, over here is just more of like just shopping and restaurants and stuff. There's like a small walking street that has like a bunch of um, like stuff like American Eagle Outfitters and um, yeah, things like that. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go uh, over here. We're gonna actually walk through Ikebukuro Station. I just want you guys to see how packed it is at like 6 p.m. on a Sunday. So we're gonna check that out. So there's a lot of people, but it's, mm, it's not super loud. like. That's, that's one of the interesting things about Japan is, you know, it, like especially Tokyo. I should be more specific. It's one of the interesting things about Tokyo is uh, the fact that there's a lot of people here, but it's like not like overtly loud. Like people do chat and stuff, but it's not like, like when you're on the train and it's super packed, nobody talks. It's like dead silent. You might hear someone like sniffle or cough a little bit, but um, yeah, just in general, Tokyo people are, quieter 
than say like Osaka or something. We are in the eastern side of Ikebukuro. And so this is specifically the east exit of Ikebukuro station. Yeah. Oh wow, look at the clouds. Holy shit, it's gonna rain. I better hurry up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to walk around. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, inside the station just real quick. And then we'll, we'll come back out and then walk around on the streets. Yeah, this is a, a normal occurrence. This is what I experience every day when I go home. It's like, just like a shit ton of people. But I'm gonna try to hang on to the, the right side here. Uh, so, there's too many people. But this, um, this can be anxiety inducing, so I do apologize for anyone watching this video. And you're just like experiencing like massive social anxiety from this video. Uh, I myself have anxiety, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So uh, I, do, I do take some uh, medication to help like deal with it. Uh, and uh, I also use uh, CBD to help like just like calm the nerves. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's kind of warm down in here. There's just a lot of people, you know? Here's a little uh, convenience store in there. So when I go home, I, I usually go this way. And then I get on this uh, JR line, or the green sign, JR. I get on the JR Yamanote line uh, through those entrance little gates right there. And that'll, uh, you know, eventually like, take me home. But uh, so what's in, in this uh, specific place? So as I mentioned, there's like department stores. So there's, I think, three of them like on top of the station itself. There's the Seibu one, the ISP, it's like Ikebukuro Shopping Plaza, and then Parko. I think we're underneath Parko right now, but they're all like all interconnected. So it's really hard to tell like where one starts and where the other one ends. Like for example, like this way, uh, there's like some areas of that department store. And if I go this way, it goes towards uh, like ISP. And if we go back, it goes to a uh, Parco. I think there's like one more, I forget. Sorry, I'm like babbling. Uh, you know, I'm not too familiar with Ikebukuro. I know it well enough from like coming here for work, but you know, there's other things that I just don't know about Ikebukuro. But yeah, so um, yeah, coming up here is kind of crazy. There's just people going like left, right, forward, zigzagging, like all over the place. It's, a little bit of a mess. Yeah, so we have uh, people coming from this direction. We got people over here coming from that direction. There's just all these like different corridors that all like kind of intersect. But we're gonna try to just get out of here because uh, it's hot. There's just way too many people. But I just wanted to give you like a brief little uh, example of what it's like to walk inside of this place. A little bit nutty. But that's life in Tokyo. Yeah, 
that. It's surprising that uh, you, you don't really see people colliding into each other often. I don't think I've collided into anyone yet here. Um, I've been collided into at a different station, but uh, here not so much. Everyone just kind of seems to know where to go and how to flow and get out of the station or get to the tracks, you know? Where are we going? Where are we going? All right, I'm gonna try to find the exit through. Um, through one of these corridors. Uh, ah, I know, here, we're, we're coming upon Cebu. Cebu is more of a higher end department store. They have a Louis Vuitton on the first floor and some other like high end stuff inside the building itself. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh, Get out of here. Get some fresh air, guys. It's September 29th. And so, you know, we're in the fall season, but it's still pretty warm in Tokyo. We had a few days of really cold stuff, uh, really cold weather uh, last week and the week before, but um, yeah, it just kind of went back to the hotness. But luckily, not the hotness from August. A lot of people are still wearing shorts and t-shirts. Yeah, so we started off straight ahead and then we went in the building and then we popped out just further out, uh, further down this way. But yeah, here's Louis Vuitton. So we're gonna, um, how's the cloud situation? It's getting darker, but um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain during the video. We're gonna uh, cross the street and head over into some of the other street area, like alleyway areas and stuff, where most of the shopping and restaurant stuff is. And um, there's one thing I need to mention about, well, there's several things I need to mention about Ikebukuro that I know of from what people have told me, uh, who I work with. So Ikebukuro is known for their anime studios. There's a lot of anime studios here, manga studios. And there's uh, quite a few that focus on BL, manga or anime. Um, BL stands for boys love. So it's, you know, like two guys that are best friends and then they, you know, lightly caress their nut sacks together. I don't know, like what they actually do. But um, yeah, so that's a very like popular genre. And many of the studios that produce that kind of uh, work are located around here. So there's actually a lot of fangirls that um, come here almost every single day. Some of them are in cosplay. We might see cosplayers today while walking around. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's other studios here too, but um, the majority is BL because Ikebukuro, um, what I was told, is kind of like a LGBT friendly district. It has been for a very long time. And so, yeah. Look at all the lights, huh? So there's that. And then, um, yeah, I already mentioned about the, the like adult entertainment district stuff. Uh, what else was there? There was like one more thing and I, uh, maybe I'll, I'll remember it like probably as we're walking. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cross this way. So I'm just doing like a huge like loop around this area if you guys are curious like where I'm where I like literally walked I will have a Google map link in the description box on YouTube so make sure if you know if you're curious like where did, where did Cory walk exactly just open up that description box click the link it'll show you literally where I walked So many people. Uh, there's another big camera. There's like, I don't know how many big cameras they have in this one specific area, but this is like the third one we've seen in the video so far. But 
yeah, they sell everything. Laptops, cameras, TVs, home phones, like landline phones, all kinds of stuff. Uh, there, there's also some Denny's here. I think this is one of them. But I, I've seen several other Denny's in this area as well. So we're, we're near my work. Well, I'm, I'm obviously not going to show you where I work or mention the company name. But uh, yeah, I do work in this area. Um, down here is some interesting stuff. Restaurants. Alleys. But uh, my main goal right now is to show you guys this like walking street area where cars are not allowed to go. That's where there's a lot of shopping and stuff. This is a NTT Docomo shop, SoftBank, Y-Mobile. Uh, those are like like some of the three major carriers for cellular service in Japan. Oh, there's another big camera right there. That's that's big camera number four. <laughs> I never really noticed it until this video, while filming it, that there was so many big cameras. But yeah, sorry if it's a little dark. I will have to try to fix it in post, make it kind of brighter, so y'all can enjoy it. But yeah, so we're, we've entered the walking street area. It's, it's not a very long street or anything, but this is like, I guess like the main shopping area of Eastern Ikebukuro. We've got uh, like a Sanrio Hello Kitty kind of a store here on the right. There's like drugstores, um, Loteria, ABC Mart, Uniqlo. Yeah, and there's a there's quite a few uh, game arcades and movie like uh, movie theaters and other things in this area as well. Sunshine City, uh, Sunshine City, Sunshine City, is up, like further up the road, and that's uh, it's like a huge shopping mall, like an actual shopping mall. But uh, there is something here I wanted to show you guys. It's down this street here, and I just discovered this the other day. I didn't even realize that this was uh, like very close to my work. But you know, many of you guys know I lived in Hanoi, Vietnam. Uh, for like two years and um, in Hanoi there's a place called Pho Tin and they opened up a restaurant uh, in Tokyo it's currently closed right now but they sell the uh, Pho Ba here Pho Tin so I knew that they opened up this restaurant while I was still living in Hanoi and this is like a replica of the original sign from Hanoi if it has the street address but uh, it's right here. I just discovered it the other day randomly. And uh, I used to eat there fairly often when I was in Hanoi because it's, it's one of my favorite pho places. And uh, so I knew they opened up a place in Tokyo, but I had no idea like literally like what neighborhood or what the address was. And then one day I was just walking on my lunch break from work and I, I just saw it and I was like, oh, it's oh my God, it's like right by my work. Uh, this is kind of messed up, guys. What is going on here? Let's look at this sign. Sexual harassment space. All private room version. What does that even mean? Uh, what? This is a sexy nurse cabaret. 40 minutes for free. Then it's 8,000 yen. Um, yeah, so like I said, adult entertainment in and around this area. Although sexual harassment space, I think is, uh, I, I, I'm hoping it's a mistake <laughs> in like their usage of English because that's that's pretty messed up if it actually was like you know sexual harassment hey what are you doing tonight I don't know I'm gonna go to this place and sexually harass somebody yeah that's pretty messed up um, but yeah so you can see we kind of stepped off to the side it's so much quieter less people yeah, so in my free time like between you know like classes or my lunch break. I, I tend to wander over in this area 
because it's uh, much, much quieter. There's a cool little alley with like some little, little speakeasies, little, little bars. I think they're like just opening up for service. These are all like little establishments, you know, like limited seating. Like for example, like here you can see it, you can't even see inside. Some of these places are like members only. Uh, they usually have a sign on the outside that says that. Um, but others that are, they are open to anybody, but they do serve uh, service. Uh, what did I say? They do charge a service fee. Um, yeah, so like for example here, this one on the sign it says 8% uh, tax. Yeah, so they add like a, I don't know, like a table fee, I guess, or a sitting fee. But it's pretty cool, huh? Oh yeah. Ah, the other thing I, I just remembered of what Ikebukuro is like really known for is ramen. Ramen. There's so much ramen in Ikebukuro. It's like so much ramen, guys. Um, like this this place. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to see, but that place right there. There's a line of people. That's for a ramen place. Um, we'll go over this way. So what do we have up here? Uh, darts. Yeah, this place is really good. I, I ate here the other day. If you guys saw my Instagram post about the ramen, Bankara ramen, it was from here. This place is really good. Very affordable, like not bad, very affordable. Um, but they have these different kinds of uh, ramen. It's really good. Um, I do recommend. I do recommend. Uh, here's a Tenga shop. If you guys know what Tenga is, it's essentially like a sex toy for men. You know, kind of like a like a flashlight, sorta. But uh, they're a well-known uh, sex toy company. Uh, we've got American Eagle Outfitters. Got a uh, Uniqlo. I like Uniqlo. I don't know if you guys know Uniqlo. I don't like. I've been out of America for like seven years, so I don't even know if they have that there now. But uh, I love shopping at Uniqlo. It's where I get most of my clothes. We have some uh, movie theater kind of complex here on the right. Uh, they they show a lot of anime movies and stuff here, so this place is always packed. Um, with just like young people, and some of them in cosplay, and they go and watch their favorite movies. Got a Sega world on the left. Sega. Yeah, so on my lunch break, sometimes I go in there when I'm bored, and I just like play Street Fighter or something, Tekken. Just something to pass the time, and then I go back to work. can I talk about? Uh, let's go down this alley. I think there's something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, there's more ramen and uh, ramen and love hotels down this street. Yeah, there's a big sign that says ramen. So when you're walking around here, you could be like solicited by some of these people trying to like hand out flyers to get you to come to their like their bar or something like that. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is a curry house. There's a line to go into the curry house. And here's a soba ramen place. There's a line to go in there.
take a slow look around here. Sorry if I'm walking too fast or not making any sense during my uh, my talking. It's just been a long time since I I made a YouTube video, so I gotta get back into the groove of it, you know. Um, something smells like somebody farted. All right. Uh, so there's a. Uh, more ramen up here and then there's uh i don't know if it's open or not but there was this uh retro game store up here and it was so cool to discover randomly on my lunch break so i was like hanging out in there they had like nintendo's like virtual boy and uh some old famicom systems and stuff that you could play it was right here Gamer's Lethal Weapon. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. All right, let's uh, Hotel Tijuana Inn. Okay, um, let's see. We've got a uh, Karaage Chicken place right here. Tenka Torimasu. Nobody's really there right now. More little small alleys with uh, izakayas and little bars and stuff. We're gonna go back this way. Yeah. So I mentioned that there's a lot of like, you know, like fangirls that come here for the different uh, anime and manga studios that they like, and the shows that they like. Uh, I always see them lining up here, like on my lunch break, they're always lined up at this uh, bubble tea shop, this boba shop. Right here. So you can see there's some there's just a few people here right now, but at lunchtime it's like so packed. It's called like high cha. High tea. Bubble tea. Got a little cat face on there. Um, and then right by here there's these uh, little stores called K Books. It's all K pop. So here this is one. There's like uh, where's the other one? Oh, it's right here. K-pop, there's books. Uh, so they have like, you know, picture cards and like CDs and other things. I'm gonna maybe see if I can like walk in here real quick. Uh, yeah, so for all you K-pop fans and J-pop fans, I have no idea who any of these guys are, but we're in here. Oh, BT21. Jaehwan. So like I, I just don't know who these people are. KCON 2019. Um, who's this guy? Hui? I don't know. Sorry about the the banding. It's the lighting in here. Um, let me see if I can get out of here because I, I literally have no. Oh, here's EXO. Some EXO stuff. But uh, let's get out of here. I feel awkward. Okay, so <laughs> that is that. But yeah, this uh, this building straight ahead, uh, this kind of tall one right here. The lower levels are Sunshine City, and that's the place uh, that I was saying it was like a big mall. So it's in there. I went in there. It's you know, it's all right. They had a nice supermarket that sold uh, Western like goods. Like they had like olives and prosciutto and. Uh, some like wines and like good olive oil from like Italy, Italia. So yeah, that was pretty nice. Um, we're gonna backtrack this way. Doc Martens. Yeah, it's funny whenever I walk around here because there's so many love hotels. It's almost like every day, every hotel I walk out of, or sorry, not out of, <laughs> sorry, I don't go in them, I swear to God. Every hotel that I walk by, I always see like a couple come out of them 
and then they split up. They, they like split ways. It's like, you know, they come out, they battle each other, and then the girl goes one way and the guy goes the other way. And I'm like, is she a hooker? Or is he a hooker? Like, what's... Did they meet on Tinder? Like, what's going on? But you, you definitely know they boned. So much entertainment here. And lots of places to eat. So much food. There's also, right here, there's like a TGI Fridays. We've got Italian and Spanish dining. Um, lots of stuff. Uh, here's, what is this? Oh, this is churros. Selling churros here. It's more down on this street where I see like the specific fangirls for different kinds of comics and stuff. And so like these girls, their their fashion style right now, it's everyone's wearing kind of the same similar thing with this like dress, the like flowy dress with the like white blouse or something. I don't know what comic that's from, but they're definitely dressing like somebody. Uh, here we have Q Plaza. It's kind of a another entertainment building. It's got a Capcom cafe inside. And it even has a Seoul Bing on the second floor here. That's uh they sell bingsu, Korean bingsu. It's a very famous Korean chain. And we have the awesome store. There. The awesome store and cafe, I should clarify. Um, but the awesome store, if you guys don't know what it is, it's it's awesome. <laughs> Hence the name. But uh, they have, you know, uh, how do you, how can I say this? Like, imagine IKEA. Let me just walk in here. Imagine IKEA, but they sell just like, well, not IKEA. Okay, that's a bad example. They just sell like interesting things, like like beauty products and hair ties and necklaces and it looks like they're they now have a Halloween section we're almost in October guys uh, yeah that's a bad example sorry they are not like IKEA whatsoever okay I take back my my first statement so yeah they have the associated cafe and what's nice is uh, you know even though we are in this like kind of urban environment with like all these buildings and lights and stuff and flashy colors and whatnot uh, there's this one house right here. Can you see it? It's like abandoned. And it's just there. They, they have it fenced off with that blue like metal fence. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's still there, but it's old. It's an old Japanese house. So it's pretty cool. Uh, here, this is takoyaki. It's like, uh, like dough batter with uh, octopus pieces inside. hotel this is actually like a proper hotel not like a love hotel although I guess you could use it for love but yeah it's not like one of those shady love hotels and uh, down here there's a lot of construction going on because they're building this like civic center and like concert hall for like uh, what do you call it like operas and like symphonies and whatnot and maybe some other kind of uh, entertainment that requires like a, a nice stage you know like kind of like a like a like a broadway show or something like that but it's in this building i think right here it's just all under construction right now yeah we're, we're kind of in the like more quieter areas but uh this is still like literally close like i think i'm a, a block and a half from my my work like for the past like 15 minutes we're, we're all just like really close to my work um, but yeah, we do have some residential stuff back here, apartment buildings, and it's like more quieter stuff. Yeah. Um, hmm. What else can I talk about? <laughs> Sorry, it's it's just been so long. Yeah. As soon as I finish filming this, I'm gonna hop on the train and go home. I'm done with work today. 
but uh, I'm excited to like get this video up uh, hopefully tonight it'll be the first one in like four months or something three months four months yeah let's go this way yeah so this sign what does it say it says welcome to Ikebukuro the holy land of anime There's a very tall building right there. Oh, the street light's in the way. Very tall building. Yeah, I wish I could have filmed this a little bit earlier, but uh, you know, I just got off work and it was like already sundown. So uh, it is what it is, I apologize. But um, the, the cool thing though, is I'm really looking forward to uh, just you know, continuing YouTube. I need to get back, it's been a long time. I do apologize. But uh, yeah, um, I'm also using a new camera. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I'm using the DJI, DJI Osmo Action. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's gonna allow me to do some pretty cool stuff that my, my super old GoPro from 2014 wasn't able to, or isn't able to do. It finally died. Um, so yeah, the story actually of why I got this camera is I've been trying to film a video for you guys for, for like a week and every time I take my camera out to go do something there was like audio issues or the camera itself died and uh, or it filmed like half of what like my walk was and then it died but it, I, I couldn't tell that it died it made no noise or anything like that the the red light was still on but the video didn't capture and I had plenty of space on my SD card and so it's, yeah the essentially the GoPro just kind of shit the bed and uh, now it's like it's just completely dead. I can't like even with the full charge battery, it won't turn on. I've tried many ways to reset it, all kinds of stuff, and it, yeah, it's just it's done. It was time, time to take it out back, old Yeller style, which is so sad to say, because um, that camera provided a lot of the footage on my channel for many years since 2014. Um, yeah. Right around here, there's always girls dressed up like, let me, let's see if we can like spot somebody. Uh, okay, maybe it's a little awkward. I don't want to seem like a creep filming girls, but um, I'll just focus on the, the anime manga stuff. And then if you see the girls in the, in the background or whatever, then that, that's what you see. <laughs> that's what you get. Um, but yeah, so there's like these characters, little chibi characters. Well, I don't know what the name of this comic is. Oh, Stand My Heroes? Yeah, it says, Stand My Heroes. And so people are like, in, in this store, and there's always like things related to, uh, like Boys Love, that sign right there. There's like two dudes, and I guess they're like best friends slash lovers. Uh, I don't know what these are right here, but I see two dudes. If you guys know what these are, if you guys ever ever seen them, you know, leave a comment. Um, but this store also has like gaming stuff, Dragon Quest. We got the Dragon Quest 11 sword right here. We got some pretty cool Dragon Quest stuff. We got the slime like pencil case or something. Oh no, this is a wallet. It even has a thing for your ID. Uh, what are these? Metallic Monster Gallery. Oh, it's the toy. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty cool. $52. Holy Lord. Oh, these are cool. Slime, slime tins. All right, it's really loud, holy shit. Time to get out of here. Oh, sorry about that. Um, now I'm like deaf. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, see this girl right here? Uh, white top in the purple dress, long dress on the, wait, can you see her? Shit, maybe it's hard to see. Um, Okay, I didn't want to creep too much, but uh, yeah, like 
Everyone's wearing these, like right here, look, white top and long dress. I don't know. I don't know what comic it is, but uh, today I've noticed it. Like everyone is dressed like that in this area. Like so many different people. But yeah, anyways, let's continue the walk, guys. Let's, let's continue forth. Uh, I think at this point, I, I kind of walked around mostly all the places that I know of, you know, just in this general area. And uh, I think I'm going to walk back towards the train station and then uh, go ahead and end it outside of the station itself. Yeah, we've got just like so many restaurants. There's like a wine, uh, wine bar. Uh, there's this place that sells butter coffee. Do you guys know butter coffee? I've never had butter coffee, but apparently it's kind of popular in that place. I've heard of butter coffee, and I understand the concept behind it, just never tried it. I don't think I've known anybody that's tried it either. Uh, this place right on, they sell like Levi's jeans, and New Balance gear, Fila, Reebok. Actually, huh? I'm getting a, a warning that uh, my battery is low, so uh, maybe we'll we'll wrap it up in the next like one minute or two minutes. But yeah, straight ahead is the train station. Uh, got a pachinko hall right here on the right. Flashy lights. Maybe I'll end it like as I walk down this corridor. Well, that's it guys. I do apologize. It's not a longer video, but I hope you guys enjoyed the walk and talk. Sorry I mumbled a lot and just, you know, didn't make any sense uh, throughout the video. But um, yeah, we're getting back into YouTube guys. And uh, this is uh, the east side of Ikebukuro. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, helps me. Can we reach 100,000 subscribers? I don't know, I don't know, maybe? Is it possible? Do you guys think it's possible? Let's give it a try. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, later.